Welcome to the wild world where the color of your skin can literally be a matter of life or death. Today, we're going to unravel an intriguing mystery. Why do animals hate albinos? In the animal kingdom, being albino is like showing up to a black tie event in pajamas. You don't just stand out, you practically beg to be the center of attention and not in a good way. Imagine trying to blend into the African savanna, but your skin shines brighter than a diamond. It's not exactly the best survival strategy, is it? Now you might be thinking, but they're just misunderstood, right? Oh, sure, as if a lion would stop and say, hey, it's not fair to hunt this guy. He already has enough problems being visible from miles away. But don't be fooled. Our episode isn't just a parade of pigmentary misfortunes. We're going to dive deep into the science behind albinism, debunk myths, and maybe even find a glimmer of hope for our colorless protagonists. So stay with us as we try to answer the question, why do animals hate albinos? To understand why some animals are treated as the ugly ducklings of nature, we first need to delve into the fascinating world of genetics. Yes, it's time to talk about albinism, that quirk of nature that transforms fierce predators into almost mythical versions of themselves. Albinism is a rare genetic phenomenon resulting from a mutation that effectively says no thanks to melanin, the pigment that gives color to skin, eyes, and hair. Or in this case, fur, feathers, and scales. It's as if nature is trying to create a limited edition of each species, except instead of being more coveted, these individuals end up with a huge target painted on their backs. Generation after generation, it's all a matter of luck in the genetic lottery. Both parents need to pass on the mutation to their offspring, making albinism the unwanted prize in this biological lottery. However, this doesn't mean the parents need to be albino themselves. They just need to carry the gene, even if it hasn't manifested in them. So, if two lions carry the albinism gene, even without showing it in their appearance, some of their offspring might end up exhibiting albinism while others might not. The same goes for leucism, a more common genetic condition where pigmentation is reduced but not entirely absent. In the human world, being unique might land you on a magazine cover or a modeling contract. In the animal kingdom, being different means you literally don't fit in. Imagine trying to hide from predators when you shine brighter than a full moon on a dark night. But it's not just a matter of aesthetics. Albinism brings a host of serious challenges. Sensitivity to sunlight, which can lead to skin problems. Visual difficulties that turn the simple task of finding food into an odyssey. And of course, the already mentioned lack of camouflage. Fortunately, it's not all doom and gloom. In some parts of the world, efforts are being made to protect these rare and fascinating creatures. Reserves and sanctuaries offer a refuge where albinism is not a death sentence, but a mark of uniqueness. As we prepare to explore the stories of survival and the incredible adaptations of these animals, remember that in the game of wildlife, being different can be challenging, but it's also what makes the story of nature incredibly rich and diverse. Imagine for a moment that you are the new member of a lion family, but there's a catch. You are as white as snow in the middle of the African savanna. Your arrival would likely cause more commotion than a tourist wearing sandals with socks on a safari. In the animal world, first impressions are everything, and for our albino friends, these impressions often come with a lot of puzzled looks and, let's be honest, a bit of family drama. But not everything is exclusion and strange looks. In the realm of primates, curiosity often outweighs prejudice. Gorillas and monkeys, for example, might initially be perplexed by the appearance of an albino companion, but their curiosity usually leads to quicker acceptance. It's like saying, okay, you're different, but you can still hang out with us. However, the reality isn't always a fairy tale of acceptance and integration. Albino animals face significant challenges in surviving and thriving in their natural habitats, often due to increased visibility to predators and difficulties in hunting or camouflage. Yet, when they are accepted, these unique individuals find their place in the sun, figuratively speaking, of course. The protection and support of the group can make all the difference, proving that, in the end, what truly matters is bond and resilience. So, the next time you feel a bit out of place, remember our albino friends. They teach us a valuable lesson. Being different can be challenging, but it's also what makes us extraordinary. In the vast tapestry of life, 
Each unique thread is essential to the beauty of the whole. If life were a Hollywood movie, Casper would be the unlikely protagonist everyone underestimates. The White Lion, also known as the White Ghost of Kruger, has a story that seems more like a movie plot than the harsh reality of the African savanna. Born under the cover of night, Casper shone like a beacon in the dark, a curse for some, a divine reincarnation for others. But for us mere mortals, passionate about stories of overcoming odds, he was just a little lion with the world against him. Life for Casper was no walk in the park. Unless your park walk includes being rejected by your own group and having all the odds of survival stacked against you. Against all expectations, Casper not only survived but thrived, transforming from a rejected cub into a true alpha, with scars that tell tales of battles won and a coalition to call his own. He defied the statistics and, like a good movie protagonist, proved that every underdog has their day of glory. Throughout this video, we witnessed the numerous challenges our albino friends face, from trying not to be an easy target in Mother Nature's playground to the daily struggle of not outshining the sun with their natural brilliance. But who would have thought, right? Despite all the adversities, these creatures continue to thrive, defying the odds as easily as we defy logic by touching a hot plate even after the waiter warns us. From Casper, the white ghost of Kruger, to every albino lion, kangaroo, and gorilla, these animals don't just survive. They teach us valuable lessons about resilience, acceptance, and the indomitable power of the animal spirit. And they do all this while maintaining a level of visibility that would make any reality TV star envious. On a curious note, there's the opposite of this story as well. A genetic effect that produces an excess of melanin, giving animals an incredibly powerful appearance. To learn more about this, check out the video on the black tiger. So, what do we learn today? The animal kingdom is so relentless that it doesn't care about your differences as long as you can run fast enough. But more importantly, we learn that being different, despite all its complications, can be your greatest strength. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe for more adventures that defy expectations, and, of course, comment on which albino animal you find the most beautiful. Thanks for watching.